Thank you for coming out today, right? I know you could stay home sleeping on your break, but these next three days, you're going to get a lot of these next three days and just staying home and get better than the person that is staying home, right? Uh, we're here just nine to one, okay? We're going to get a lot of things in, okay? Today is going to be a little, each day is going to be a little different. Today is going to be even more different because Carlos, um, it's Sierra, if you guys don't know who he is, he used to pitch for the Houston Astros, right? He's certified in arm care, pitching, anything you name it. He's here today to try to help you understand your body and be able to maximize more power on your throws to the bases, okay? So we're gonna, what we're going to do is, yeah, there's a lot of people here, but we're going to split up into groups, right, with your age group. And each group is going to work with him. After 30, 35 minutes or so, we're going to switch group. While he's doing that, everybody else is going to do today is receiving and blocking. Okay, receiving, blocking, and then conditioning at the end. Okay, so we're here to help you. So if you don't know me, a lot of you that are here that are new, my name is Andrew Devino. I'm a catching coach in this area. Yeah, I used to catch, uh, coach at Lakeland High School, uh, coached some college in the past summers, and now I'm also with Swiffle Travel Ball, okay? Michael here, he's a former player of mine. He's going to help out with us today, okay? He's a college guy. Uh, he's going to help us out. And then tomorrow, um, Oscar Aldande used to play double A as a catcher in Puerto Rico. He'll be here to work with you guys as well. Okay. If you have any questions, please let us know. At the end of the camp, I'm going to try to put a, a report together for you from what I see, what you need to work on, what you could do at home. I'll send it to you by the end of the week as well. Okay. You have, you have anything to say? Well, about the introduction, uh, Coach Arino uh, said pretty much everything. I'm here to help you guys in everything that it comes to uh, throwing. Every time that we hit that word, the first thing that comes to mind is the human body. Because it's a serious thing that in any chain, a good work of your body in order to make that throw be an efficient, powerful, and stays out there. You know? so now, nowadays, everybody wants to throw the ball hard, right? The ball hard. Uh, but staying healthy is really, really important. And throwing is better than nothing. Staying healthy while throwing a lot is really hard, and I think that then we're going to cover a lot of stuff. So I'm going to tell you what we Okay, so how it's going to break down is that we're going to stretch together, okay? Then we'll break into groups, right? If you're with Carlos, they don't need their equipment right now, right? Yeah. Would you? So you don't need your equipment. Everybody else is going to suit up. We're going to break into stations, whether it's out here or in the cages, okay? So first, we're going to break into groups. So if you're high school and up, you go, you're going to stretch in this group, in this case, so you could go there right now. High school and up. Wait for the last person, then we'll do lunges back, all right? So lunges first, make sure that you're twisting. Make sure you're twisting. Go. Look forward. Lunges. Make sure you're alternating legs. Once the last person gets there, you could go back. You could go, Ashwin. We could do the older kids first. We'll break it up. There's two, four, six, eight. So that'll be two groups. 
same thing back. You don't have to film that much. Up and stay under. Right? You don't have to be up here. You could be low. Drop, stay under. You see how I stay under it? And up. Hold it and up. Don't rush through it. I'm going to do 20. Stay low. Keep your head down. Wait, 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 wait. Keep your head down. Keep your nose tucked. Okay? Toes down when we work through the ball. Okay? We can't just be here and try to catch up like this. Right? We want to make sure that we stay in underneath the ball. That's the whole point of the one knee, to stay under. And the reason why we're having our thumb down is so the pocket is exposed to the ball. The ball's coming at a negative angle downwards, right? Negative six or more downwards, right? So if I'm here and I just get over the top of the ball like that, the ball's coming down through it, right? I need to be able to stay with my elbow above my wrist, slightly above my wrist, and I'm working up and through right when i keep this elbow bent it's called a flex right i get a flex here i hold it here i don't extend out once i try to extend out now i'm gonna either miss the ball or i'm gonna be too far in front and up and the ball is gonna go down and then i have no range as well when i'm locked out okay so we're here we're down thumb is down and we're working under and through the ball okay so now we're gonna break into right now, okay? You guys are gonna go three way right here, and you're gonna be with with Austin, okay? Go here, stand up, stand up. Throw it, throw it back. Here we sit like that. Yeah. Squat down. Easy to get. Yeah. So, what you're going to do is 
working your external rotation of your shoulder and in order for you guys to do that, focus on getting that chest out. If you get your chest out, your leg back activates right away. Like if I have my chest in and I try to pull my arm back as much as possible, it's hard. But as soon as I get my chest out, you see how my arms fall apart. So, you're going to work in that internal rotation, getting the chest out, and then get it in. And then now we do the fight. And now, important, try to keep your biceps stable. Now, you don't want to bump in this part. You don't, you don't want to bump in too close to you. So this is run, this is run. Try to keep 90 degrees in your arm. Oh. Now, internal rotation of the shoulders. When the shoulder move towards your center line. In order for us to stay healthy, we have to go to the When we pronate too early, or when we supinate too much, and it takes too long for us to pronate, we tend to present a front in the front side of the shoulder. And for the most part in the elbow. Usually for the chain is weak, that's what you're going to have to So, going to the inner region of the shoulder is very important too. The common mistake that I see you guys do when you work in the line is the one that drew it. Some others, not even, some others just get the big one and stop turning right away. It's really, really legal for you guys. And it's coming here to the back of You know, one of the guys, if you have a good inner rotation, you want to come in here. So your shoulder fully rotates internally. Alright, right. stay away from this. This is what you see from more people. They're doing nothing for your health. And start working more internally in your shoulder. So same thing, you can do it facing this way, backwards, get your chest out when you go back. You can do it facing that way, get your chest out. All this is external rotation. Okay? So after you guys have done with this, you may then start getting the ball and start trying to get on the camera. Jump in, jump okay. down, now that we are, feel free to do some push ups, some pull ups, some stuff. Feel free to do that before yeah. the game, so we start doing pull ups and push ups. Exercises that will activate your arm and really good so you guys can stay healthy. Okay? So, now we're going to go to the throwing part. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to get our glove, we're going to get those things. So, having a good stabilization of the bicep, that means that your bicep doesn't contract or doesn't extend too much, is key for us to have a healthy and efficient arm power. Okay? So, a common mistake that I see in guys. Yeah. 
Dame salió el sobre, hasta el otro, the ball came forward with no power. You were trying to throw hard, and you probably were trying to throw hard, but the hits were not happening in that time. You were giving away the power that you were doing. Now, having a good hit card is going to allow you to travel the power better to your right hand, okay? And I have a better linear position. So, instead of trying to get your full up and down too early, you guys should focus on dragging a little bit, stay connected with the ground a little longer, and then getting the toe off. Getting the toe off. Not forward, but up. You will notice that pain in your hips. So, you want to do this? You want to do this? Getting that hip, that leg back, and then forward, not forward right up. And that's what we are going to do one or two. Be aggressive. The water is going to try to take you away, but you you create the core contraction and stretch the core enough to keep a good linear position. I'm working that hip one. Now, throw leg. Which you did good for the most part of you did good. When you get in the position that you're preparing your body to rotate, your knee is bent, or it should be bent. You're going to have an efficient rotation. It's not the same thing rotating from here than rotating from here. But after you guys release the ball, that front leg got a brace in order to create a good deceleration. Now you have to be in a proper sequence. It cannot be before you guys do it. It cannot be after you release. Lock that hip. Lock that leg. That's when I allow you to do it for harder. Take base, take base, whatever you got. So focus on that. Focus on the hip lock at top. Be a guest with the ball. Can I have this little space real quick? Thank you guys. You're gonna bend your front knee. You try to create enough separation in your trunk to make a good throw. Keep your knee bent in that process, and after you release, then you brace your leg. And you keep this leg on the chair. Try to feel it strong right here. Some rigidness right here. Boom. That's gonna help you recover power better, decelerate better, have more control in your throat. You guys, let's go. Do not open towards your glove side because that will disconnect your center mass with your ball and make your toes run too much towards uh, the right side of the base or, or lack power. Everything got to be connected. You try to keep your shin, your nose, your eyes, everything towards the base by locking your front side. You can put some pressure in that glove, but it's going to help create enough core contraction in your front side to stay low. Okay? Now we're going to go before we go because you guys got to go already to arm here. And I think that's really important. I was talking to the other group already.
Stay lower. Come on. Stay lower. Don't stand up. Okay, you guys. So, we can now get to the games, move around two times, and start doing the other things. First, your muscles are going to be working the wrong way, so you can start creating bad muscle memory, and that's really hard to break bad muscle memory. Second, your muscles are going to work more efficient, and then when you ask for efficiency, when you are behind the play, it's not going to be there. It's going to be impossible for the muscles to create more efficiency. And the worst of all, like I said, is you guys can it. But listen, the deal is that you can't just try to pick it up in the air. you got to get your glove down. It's got to be down. Okay? Right? Today, we need to have a good angle in our arm to throw. You don't want it too close to the ear. You don't want it too far from the ear. You don't want your elbow too distal from your center mass. Neither to proximal to the center mass and you wanted to have an efficient rotation in your shoulder. So I'll get this very important. But something that I didn't mention with the older boys was when you get a full prime, because I see that mistake you do a couple of times and then you fix it after we uh, work in that deceleration part on the front leg. Guys, you will never you will never want to get a full plan leading with the tippy toes or landing with the tippy toes. It's not gonna let you cough stabilize and then you land because they are not gonna absorb power from the ground. And then that linear position, which is when we're after rotation, when we release the ball and transfer the power and have all the control, it's gonna get weaker. So guys, we gotta make sure, because again, I forgot to mention this one more working over there. We either have a good, a good uh, full plan from above with a good full retraction, kind of going forward or landing with our heels and then tippy toes. Never the other way around, or they, this will happen. And they kind of throw those pitchers, catchers, outfield, and they throw, and they go forward. I talked to you about that a little bit too, that you were doing it a lot. You never want to go forward too much. That's a lack of deceleration, and then your transfer power is going to get weaker. So I'm going to arm, good deceleration, Go proximal to this top and land with a good full plan from above. Okay? That's all. Thank you guys. I appreciate it for thank you. having me. Hey thank guys, you. next week. Oh, make sure that we thank you. Um, you, can, you can. after that, we're gonna do workout now. Tomorrow, what we're gonna do is before we get into our stretch, we're gonna go over videos. I'm gonna show you some big leaguers. We're gonna touch on some topics that I see that you guys are a little bit lacking, some of you today. So we're gonna try to fix that. We're going to break down some big league catchers. Then we're going to go into uh, transfers more tomorrow, some receiving, and then we're going to work out. Okay? Yes, so you can take everything off right now. Um, Just wait. Uh, Two minutes, two minutes, let's go. Good, Blake? Yeah. Stay low, stay low. 
Over there, saying that's your right. 